Are you tired of lag stutters and frame drops ruining your Counter-Strike experience? Today I'm unlocking expert level CPU optimizations to boost FPS and smooth out gameplay. Stay tuned and make sure to subscribe to my channel for more content. Help me reach 4K subscribers. Let's get started. Gear Up Booster is a powerful game optimization tool designed to improve network performance by minimizing lag and stabilizing ping, ensuring smoother online gameplay. Compatible with a wide range of platforms and games, it guarantees an optimized gaming experience. Download this program from the link in my description. Step 1. Optimizing Steam Settings To start, optimize your Steam settings for better performance. Open Steam and go to your library. Locate Counter-Strike, right-click on it, and select Properties. In the General tab, copy the provided command and paste it into the Launch Options field. Optimizing these settings enhances your gaming experience by making gameplay smoother and more responsive. Adjusting Launch Options improves performance, reduces lag, and boosts stability, ensuring a seamless gaming session with faster response times. Step 2. Disabling Full Screen Optimizations once you've adjusted these settings, the next step is to disable full screen optimizations. Head to your library, right click on CS2 and select properties. Navigate to the installed files section and click browse to open the game directory. Inside, go to the bin folder, then the win64 folder where you'll find the CS2 game file. Right click the file and select properties. In the properties window, switch to the compatibility tab. Check disable full screen optimizations. Then click Change High DPI Settings, enable High DPI Scaling Override, and set it to Application Mode. Click OK, then Apply and Confirm. By clicking OK again. Step 3. Optimize CS2 with Registry Tweaks. Start by opening the Registry Tweaks folder, which you can download from my official website. The download link is provided in the description below. Once downloaded, open the folder and execute each registry tweak one by one on your PC. These tweaks help optimize CS2's performance, ensuring smoother gameplay with improved stability and responsiveness. Step 4. Optimize RAM with RAM tweaks. Next, open the RAM optimizations folder, which you can download from my official website. The download link is provided in the description below. Once opened, execute the registry tweak that matches your PC's specifications. If you're unsure about your RAM size, press Ctrl plus Shift plus ES key to open Task Manager. Navigate to the performance. Tab click on memory and check the top right corner to see the available RAM on your PC. After applying the correct tweak, let's move on to the next step. Step five, improve GPU performance using MS SI utility to further enhance your system's performance. Optimize your GPU settings using MSI Utility. Start by opening the MSI Utility folder and running the program as an administrator to grant the necessary permissions. Once the program opens, locate your GPU, AMD, or NVIDIA from the list and select it. After selecting your GPU, check the MSI box and set the interrupt priority to high for improved responsiveness and performance. Once these adjustments are made, click Apply to save and activate the settings. This optimization allows your GPU to function more efficiently, reduces latency, and enhances overall system stability, ensuring a smoother gaming experience in CS2. Step 6. Optimize system performance. Using Park Control, begin by opening the Park Control tool folder. You can download this file from my official website. The link is provided in the description below. Once open, install the Park Control setup on your PC. Once installed, launch the program and you'll see its interface. First, change the power profile from balanced to bitsome high performance. This mode optimizes system processes and prioritizes critical tasks improving speed and responsiveness for demanding applications. Next, disable parking AC parking DC, FREC scaling AC, and FREC scaling DC. Set the number of cores to 100% for maximum performance. Then check mark bitsome dynamic boost enabled and select bitsome highest performance. Finally, set the time before PC is considered idle to 300 seconds. Once these settings are adjusted, click Apply and then OK to save the changes. This ensures your system runs at peak efficiency for a smoother gaming experience in CS2. Now open the Get Max FPS and Lower Ping in any game text file, copy the link provided, paste it into your browser, and press Enter. Once the page loads, click the Download button to start the download. Gear Up Booster is a powerful game optimization tool designed to improve network performance by minimizing lag and stabilizing ping, ensuring smoother online gameplay. Compatible with a wide range of platforms and games, it guarantees an optimized gaming experience. 
Download this program from the link in my description. Step 7. Maximize CPU core usage for better performance. In this step, you'll configure your system to utilize the maximum number of CPU cores for improved performance. Press Windows plus R to open the Run dialog box, then type msconfig and press Enter to launch the system configuration window. Once opened, go to the Boot tab and click on Advanced Options. Check the box next to Number of Processors and use the drop-down menu to select the highest available number for your CPU. After making these changes, click OK, then apply and confirm with OK again. A prompt will ask you to restart your PC for the changes to take effect. Simply restart your system to apply the optimizations. However, since I am recording, I will exit without restarting at this moment. Step 8. Optimize Windows Game Mode and Graphics Settings to enhance your gaming experience. Enable Game Mode and adjust graphics settings for optimal performance. Open the search bar, type Game Mode Settings and press Enter. Once the window opens, ensure that Game Mode is enabled as it helps allocate system resources efficiently reducing lag and interruptions for smoother gameplay. Next, navigate to Game. Bar settings and disable the game bar to prevent unnecessary background processes. Also uncheck, allow your controller to open game bar to avoid accidental interruptions during gameplay. Now scroll down to graphic settings and click browse to manually add CS2 to the list. Once added, click options, select high performance and hit save to apply the changes. These optimizations help reduce lag boost frame rates and improve overall. Responsiveness ensuring a smoother and more stable gaming experience. Step 9. Optimize NVIDIA GeForce Experience settings before optimizing CS2. It's important to update your drivers to the latest version. Open GeForce Experience, go to the Driver tab and click Check for Updates. If a new update is available, download and install the latest NVIDIA driver for your PC. Next, adjust some settings in GeForce Experience for better performance. Open the Settings menu and scroll down to find the in-game overlay. If you're not using NVIDIA for recording gameplay, it's best to disable this feature, as turning it off can boost FPS and reduce input lag for a smoother experience in games, like CS2. Now check the image scaling setting. I recommend leaving it as is since we'll configure it later. Lastly, scroll to the bottom and enable NVIDIA desktop notifications to stay updated on important alerts. These key adjustments in GeForce Experience will help improve your PC's gaming performance. Step 10. Optimize in-game video settings. To enhance performance and visuals, start by opening the Video tab in your Settings menu. Set the Display Mode to full screen for an immersive experience, and choose the 16.9 aspect ratio for a widescreen view. Select the resolution that matches your display, adjust the refresh rate according to your monitor, and set brightness to 100% for clear visuals. Once done, click Apply Changes to save your settings. Next, go to the Advanced Video Settings section. Enable Boost Player Contrast to improve enemy visibility and turn off VSync to reduce input lag. Activate NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency and select the Boost option for maximum responsiveness. Finally, set the maximum FPS to 1000 and the minimum FPS. In menus to zero for smooth gameplay and faster reactions. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more content and help me reach 4,000 subscribers. Your support means a lot. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button.